Come on, let me take you to all the places that I have travelled in the last 50 years. This is a hotel we have stayed in uh, Lalibela. The ambience is nice, everything is fine. The rooms are not very bad. Okay, I think you, can, you cannot get much better uh, things here than what you can. Here, Mr. Lungo the Sultan is wearing the juba which I brought for him from India. He likes it. He enjoys wearing the juba. Today is the afternoon of my eighth day. We are really tired after coming back from the long trek to Ashton Maria Monastery. For lunch, you know our great Lungo took us. It's called the Bin Abeba. It sits on a rocky outcrop just outside Lalibela with fantastic views. I can certainly vouch for it. Hands down, it is the coolest restaurant in the whole of Ethiopia. It had jumbler walkways, platforms, fire pits, and of course, pod-like structures where you can sit down and have your lunch. A best experience. We are walking towards the main attraction of Lalibela, the Rockhaven churches. It's here. Chiseling out. Yeah? Chiseling out. Heaven means chiseling out. So rock yeah. heaven churches yeah. is are the churches the churches which are the rock. which are chiseled out of yeah. monolithic rocks, like our Mahabalipuram temples. We are we are around uh, the place where the churches are there. This is one of the rock. Heaven churches of Lalibela. There are 11 churches, uh, I believe. Let's see how many will be able to finish. The local market, good. We are uh, entering the premises. Northern group, and then four churches a bit far from the north. And then one isolated from the northern south, southwest church, St. George, is the most elegant of all, the most uh, impressive one. Yeah. They must have imagined Jerusalem when they designed this place. All the churches are grouped around the same area. Some of them on the north and some of them are in the south. In between, there's a small river which they call River Jordan. We are entering the first group of uh, churches. It seems uh, the whole story of Jesus Christ is going to be here right from his birth at Bethlehem, Nazareth, Transfiguration Mount Tabor, Golgotha, Calvary. All of them are going to be here. Let's see, they are, seem to be local religious uh, students being taken for a study tour maybe. Medhani Alam. Medhani Alam. Alam, right. Literally, it is the house of the holy savior of the world. Okay. Beit his house. Beit his house. He is the savior of the world. And you know, in the church, the honor kings. Well, these look uh, original, monolithic. Yes. Original columns. Original columns. Yes, they don't receive any uh, restoration. Uh -huh. Still quite original. Quite original. Yes. yes. These are meditation uh, holes. Hermits go inside and meditate. Maybe there are a little bit bigger rooms inside when you go through. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if the poor child is a boy, he will receive uh, the sacrament. Yeah. After Baptism pool. And a girl. Eight days after birth, you take sacrament because baptism is one of the ultimate sacraments. Yes. You know, all the churches mm. we, which are monolith, they do have a slope. So, yeah, I was about to, yeah. It not only the general structure of the church, even the plains 
Oh, even the planes? The planes, is first time, the other side of the church, as you see. Naves inside yeah. to separate women and men sit during the mass. Separate. Separate. Even the access to camp is separate. Separate. As well. So you can see three doors. One, the way you come in. Another door is side. And another door is side. Mm -hmm. So this is the access for the clergy. Uh, and the other for women. And this is for men. Mm -hmm. Even during the mass, that is true, women mm -hmm. and men will separate. The church has five naves or ayers, yeah? So two of the ayers are for men. We are inside the church. This appears to be the altar behind which uh, a replica of the Ark of the Covenant is kept. Well, so in this compound, as I said, three churches. Mm -hmm. This is the House of Mary. House, House of, of Mary. Mary. Yes, believed to be the first inauguration. Oh. Okay. And right and left side of Mary, you find two churches. Half the north church, you see the arches, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We call it Beta Mascal, meaning this is the house of the Holy Cross of the Christ. Okay. And then another grotto Next church place. here. Grotto. Beta Danagi, meaning it is a house. We should go in now with our chapel? No, no first year. First go here. Mm -hmm. You know this church is relatively very small, very thick okay. rock okay. inside. I mean right and left side. But outside, see these arches, mm -hmm. ten, yeah? Represent the ten commandments. He received uh, the spiritual recommendation to make the Church of Mary. And you can see different types, of course. The carving is like here. Mm -hmm. The murals just here. Yeah? And the frescoes, plastered to the wall and the ceiling. Yeah? And because of the age, in 900 years, most of the frescoes are collapsed. But you can see still existed at these times, yeah? And those engraves or frescoes, most of with religious consent or, or representation, but some others are to beautify uh, the church. Mm -hmm. For instance, here are well, another small church, small tiny, as you see. Just grotto church, yeah? Not, uh, the only church doesn't have any, any window. It's just simply yeah, more rough and irregular shape of church. Yeah. So the Holy Virgin's Church it doesn't mean that only for women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it don't, it's we are <laughs> into another church. Yes. Behind the curtain, eight yeah. of them are behind the curtain that we are not allowed to uh -huh. go in further. So they are 12 represent the apostles. 12 apostles, yes. The whole path between these groups of churches, there are a lot of uh, trenches and uh, uh, tunnels. Now that we have seen the first group of churches, we are going to see another map efficient church before going to the second group. Access to the northern churches, yeah? Mm. And this is the symbol of the tomb of Adam, Adam and Eve. Okay. Yeah. And the church of Syria is Golgotha. So this makes sure that human skull is very dead. Huh? Now, we are walking towards one of the magnificent sites in Ethiopia, the church of St. George. Here's the photographed churches of all. I know you must be wondering what is this cross and what is underneath this cross. You won't believe there is a whole full church carved out of this mountain and which is still accessible under this rock. It is called the Church of St. George. 
you know, the churches of Lalibela hold a very important religious significance for Ethiopian Orthodox Christians. Together, they form a pilgrimage site with particular spiritual and symbolic value. These sites, even today, continues to be for daily worship and prayer and for celebrations of festivals like Timket and Gena. To enter this uh, church of St. George, you descend slowly in a trench of rock that wraps around the main excavation and then it passes through a small tunnel into the actual compound. When you reach the edge of the outcrop, you are stunned at what you are seeing. Is it season? Foot or I'll try to see the footstep of the horse of St. George. Oh. Come in to the church. Yeah. St. George. St. George, yeah. So we are down now at the bottom. Let us go around the monument before entering the church. Two, four hundred years old skeletons. Uh, our pilgrim, skeleton pilgrims came from Jerusalem to see the historical connection. See the general structure of the church. The thickness of the rock. Church of St. George, Minimize the most upwards. popular of them all. So maximize the ah, okay. The first one is bigger than the second, and the second yeah. is bigger than the third. Yeah? In fact, and they still do that. that. Yes, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. So just artisanal food. Baptism. You know, this is going now through purpose. The baptism pool. Ararat mountain. Yeah, oh, this is a replica of uh, Mount Ararat. The Ark of Noah. And this is the Ark of Noah. This is the Ark of the Mount Ararat. So stuck here, no moving. Yeah? Okay, we are entering the church of George. Just looks more higher, yeah. Mm -hmm. but inside, in this lower, the ceiling is lower. Reduce the height by 2.5 meters. We got out of St. George's Church with a mixed feeling. One side, a great contribution of man's skills, and secondly, how religion motivates him to reach great heights. We started walking towards the next group of churches. The first one was Beit Gabriel Rufael. It is possibly a formal royal palace which is linked to a royal kitchen too. We're Ten minutes late to enter this church. So we are just having a view from the outside. We are visiting the other three churches that we have not done. Beit El Amano. Yes, Beit Emmanuel. Beit Emmanuel. Yes. This Beit. Beit Divanos. Divanos. As usual, there were these children who were following us. So we decided to take one of them as our guide. Looks tricky. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. What is your name? Is it? Miss Ghana. Miss Ghana, no, no, no. our guide. We walked to, through these uh, trenches and tunnels and reached another beautiful church. It is one of the well maintained churches with unique architectural features. You want to hear the legend? 
the legend says it was constructed in a single night by Lalibela's wife Meskel Kabara with a little help from angels. Thus ended our day in Lalibela. Tomorrow we'll be leaving back to the capital Addis Ababa, but it'll be with such a good feeling that we have accomplished something. How did you enjoy this experience of visiting churches in Lalibela? I'm sure you would like to travel like this to all over the world. Just do one thing. Subscribe to my channel, like it and share it. You can always be with me. Thanks for watching.